Hello there, it's Luke again. I do not even know why the hell I'm making a video. <laughs> kinda got, I don't know. It's, since you saw that previous video, the, basically, one hour of sleep deprived Luke going on a crazy rant, I decided I'll spruce it up a little, and while well, I've gotten a shit ton of records since then, I'll just show the 45s in this video, because I love collecting 45s. So yeah, I got into record collecting two years ago, and oh, it's been an addiction ever since. Maybe I might be on intervention someday, I don't know. But anyways, uh, let's go take a look. Now I got like new baskets and shit, so this is like, this is stylish. Now, well, thank you, Metal, for ruining my basket slowly but surely. Uh, anyways, let's start off. Alright, uh, new pornographers. I took it attractions. It's, uh, yeah, it's it's a really good song. I, uh, I got it because I saw it at Shake It in March for only $1, so I was just like, well, it's new music, it's cheap as hell, and even it includes a $1 off. Uh, stickers, so I was just like, uh, I'm sure as hell getting this. Huh, so how are we gonna do this? Hmm. Hum, hum. Uh, Prince and the Revolution, I Would Die For You, another great song, just got this two, about two months ago. Oh, if only my record needle was working, everything would be fine. But yeah, it's lots and very good song. I mean, Purple Rain is a really masterful album. I, since they're so damn expensive and they've racked up the prices of Prince shit since Prince died, you can take a wild guess by the price tag, four dollars for a single. But yeah, uh, When Doves Cry also got this on the same trip. Uh, another amazing song. I first heard this, I think, 2016. It was right. The weird thing was, was, I was listening to this on April 21st at the minute Prince was pronounced dead, which, looking back, is really, really freaking creepy. Uh, Prince and the Revolution, Let's Go Crazy, another good song. I remember hearing this as a kid, and I thought it was a different artist than Prince, actually, but I'm glad I know now. Uh... Raspberry Beret, I first heard this, uh, on VH1 Classic, they were airing the video, and I really, video was, it was catchy as hell. Uh, Sydney Lauper, Change of Heart, Sydney Lauper is one of my favorite artists, because, oh, uh, well, yeah, I, I used to listen to her a lot during 8th grade, and every ride. I used to have this person that would drive us home and every time. She was nice enough that she even provided her own MP3 player and we could like request what songs for her to download. Sydney Lockover was one of the top sellers in that aspect. Heart, Never. Never is a good song. It's off their uh, basically comeback album from 1985. Really, really good song. My all-time favorite from Heart. Alone. So, yeah. Alone. When did I? I, I. This was another one I. I heard on VH1 Classic and Shazammed it, and then didn't realize till months later. Oh, that's what that song was. It's another really great song. Ann Wilson's one of the my all-time favorite vocalists. I mean, she can. She she can belt out a tune and. She, she just, wow. It's just, her voice is amazing. Alright, I think I'm going to do it this way. I'll just pull them out. Uh, Chaka Khan, I Feel For You. That's another good song. I first heard this freshman year. Catchy as hell. Pride in the Name of Love. Another good song by you too. Uh... Th I think this was the first song, well... Let me think. Uh, this was one of the first songs I remember hearing, and 
I actually got their album Unforgettable Fire in November of 2015 and because I was one of the only like 10 records I had at the time and I loved the shit out of that album I listened to every track like almost every day I, sp I still have it in it <laughs> it's shown it's worn because it is a bit warped now but it still plays just fine another great U2 song with For Without You basically the song that made them superstars <laughs> It's another good song. This one I got for free at a record fair a couple of days before I aired that infamous sleep deprived record video. I don't even know why I uploaded it. Uh, don't You Want Me is a good song. I remember hearing this song as a kid because they always had it in the Swiffer, Swiffer Duster commercials. In the Sw Basically, he they would get like the... No, it was a Swif Swiffer Mop commercial. And they would uh, get a new get the Swiffer mop, and the old mop, mop mop would react as if the owner was cheating on him or something. And while this song was playing, so it was funny as hell. Uh, the Reflex by Duran Duran, another really good song. I love Duran Duran. Uh, Hungry like the Wolf is a great song. Reflex is another good one. Uh, one of my basically, if I were to say. What band would I listen to? And to, if I had to pick one, it would be Fleetwood Mac. You Make Loving Fun is a good song. Although, I heard this was actually written about a person that Christine McPhee was having an affair with while she was married to John McPhee. So, they scandalous. Uh, Over My Head by Fleetwood Mac, another really good song by them. It was the song that first put him on the radar in 1975. This... Yeah, this was the first one that was released, single that was released, and it became a top 20 hit in late 75. Uh, let's see. Don't Stop by Fleetwood Mac, the Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton inauguration uh, campaign theme song. It's a really good song. I, I always remember hearing it like crazy, like when I was like 13 years old and I li used to I listen to WGR all the time. Huh. Rhiannon by Fleetwood Mac, yet again. Another really good song by them. Uh, I first remember, I got into Fleetwood Mac, I think, uh, freshman year. Uh, another really good one. It's awkward holding this one handed. Uh, Go Your Own Way by Fleetwood Mac. First song I remember hearing by Fleetwood Mac, and I still remember when I first heard it. It was in no November of 2012, and I was riding and I was driving around in Cincinnati with with uh, with my family and stuff, and I heard this, and I was just like, "What the hell is this?" And then I realized later on, oh, it was Fleetwood Mac. The B-side is one of the most... Fun, fun, I'm not going to repeat that word. Great, I'll just say great tracks of B-sides to a single. I mean, Silver Springs, the story of that was basically... Uh, was supposed to be on the album, there wasn't enough room on the album. They told Stevie Nicks, who basically got fucking pissed and uh, screamed and threw a, something at a random car in the parking lot. Hopefully that car is okay, but considering it's been 41 years, probably not. <sighs> Alright. Fleetwood Mac. Okay, I'm just gonna... Let's do this. God. It's so awkward holding this one-handed. Alright. Fleetwood Mac, hold me. Uh, I remember hearing this a lot in... February of 2015. That video was really good. Song is catchy. Fleetwood Mac. Little Lies. See a recurring theme here? I think not. Uh, another really good song. I'm still looking for Tango in the Night. That would complete my Lindsey Buckingham and Stevie Nicks era Fleetwood Mac record collection. Well, not singles, but album. Yes. <sighs> Nights and Lights... Sli uh, Nights in White Satin by the Moody Blues. Uh, need I say more? 
Jackson 5, uh, State of Shock, or Jackson, State of Shock. This was off off their basically final album, Victory, that was released in 1984. My favorite song off it is Torture, and I love, I prefer to dance mix, but I haven't been able to find it on 12-inch singles. So, yeah. Huh. The Tide is High by Blondie, another good song by her. Heart of Glass is my favorite one by her. Uh, How Will I Know by Whitney Houston. Another really, really good song by her. It was the song I think was her first number one. No, it was her second number one hit in early 1986. Uh, one of my favorite ABC songs, Be Near Me by ABC. Uh, I had the album and one time I decided, well, I'm not going to stop the album after How to Be a Millionaire. And I was not disappointed. This is a really, really good song. It's a simple message, and that's actually one of the lyrics. Uh, ABC, How to Be a Millionaire. Uh, basically, I think that album was all about satiratizing the materialism and focus on excess and wealth of the mid-1980s. I mean, they didn't make material girl for, girl for nothing, right? Uh, <clears throat> I first heard this song, uh, I think I saw the animated video in late June of 2015. I wa was watching VH1 Classic like usual, saw it, and I was just like, what the shit is this? I need to look this up. Because that video was like an animated video, so that's what caught me off guard. Uh, Daryl Hall, Hall, John It's, Method of Modern Love, taken off their Big Bang, Big Bam Boom album. Another number one hit in late 1984. It's a good song, although that hair is so out of style. Uh, Tina Turner, What's Love Got to Do With It? One of the most awesome comebacks in rock and roll history. I mean, Tina Turner was almost 45 when this song was released. No one was expecting it to be a hit, yet it hit number one and was one of the biggest hits in 1984. Uh, uh, English May End, er Eraser, Chains of Love, another good song. I first heard this, I think, on VH1 as well, and it's catchy, very catchy. Denise Williams, let's hear it for the boy. Oh, I remember when I... F I watched Footloose in 8th grade, and this was one of the songs, and... The thing about the song was, it was an earworm, and I kind of sang it out loud at the wrong time. Yeah, not the best lyrics to say. Well, I mean, it's it's a great song. I, I don't give a fuck, <laughs> honestly. Uh, we Are the World by USA for Africa. They did this for the people in Africa, although 32 years later, they're still doing it for the people of Africa. It beats me. I mean, honestly, they said all the... The sales would be donated from this single, but uh, uh, maybe it was maybe it was donated to Ronald Reagan or something. I don't know. Foreigner, Wayne for a girl like you, another good song by them. Pat Benatar, hit me with your best shot, and there goes my dog Claire. She's probably wondering if there's a shadow somewhere. Uh, hit me with your best shot by Pat Benatar, another good song. Shadows of the night. Oh, yeah. I first heard this in first grade, because, I mean, I think that's kind of also how I got into old music. Other than my uh, babysitter in kindergarten always having her radio tuned to Mojo 94.9, basically playing 80s rhythmic and 70s disco or rhythmic oldies. Uh, yeah. I first heard this, and I remember uh, singing this song while I was playing kickball. Not the best place to sing that. Uh, Pat Benatar, Shadows of the Night. It's another really good song by her. Uh, yeah. Janet Jackson, Nasty. I, I first heard this when I was about five, six years old. I heard it on Mojo 94.9 for a long ass time. I didn't know who the hell it was. And I really liked the beat of it. Uh, Cars, You Might Think. You might think I'm crazy. Uh, another really good song. Rip. 
uh, Madonna, like a virgin. Basically, if you want, if you basically want to play the most wrong song at a wedding, this is the one that you play at a wedding, and it will cue all the Christian parents basically, uh, basically having a stroke. So don't play that at weddings. Uh, Madonna, crazy for you. I just got this about a month ago. Another really good song by her. It was ticking off that ch cheesy 80s movie, Vision Quest. But it was a number one hit. It actually kept USA for Africa off non the number one position for a couple weeks. Madonna, Open Your Heart. It's off her uh, True Blue album, which was dedicated to her first husband, Sean Penn. That didn't last long. Uh, Sydney Lauper, Time After Time. I first heard this in 8th grade. I... It's a really, really good song. It's one that means a lot to me. Uh, Stevie Nicks, Stand Back. I really love her, uh, her so career work, but... Yeah, I just saw today that she's she, she just released a new song, and I'm, like, so excited and stuff. And she's also... I, I heard that she was collaborating with Lana Del Rey. That's going to be interesting. Stevie Nicks, Talk To Me. That's another rocker hit from late 1985. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Wow, I'm doing all this based on memory. That's... At least I won't have dementia later on. Uh, Depeche Mode, Enjoy the Silence. This was one of the limited... Uh, limited 45 singles. Depeche Mode is a really good band. It's one of my favorite ones. Uh... George Michael, father figure, rest in peace, kind of ironic that he died on uh, his last Christmas, which was a song he did that was massively popular, and I wish that dog would shut up. Uh, Stand By Me, uh, it was basically a re-release of the 1961 Benny King single, Stand By Me, from that one of the greatest movies of the 80s, Stand By Me. I think it hit number nine after it was released and revived interest in his career. Say Now Must Fire, another uh, soundtrack. Another uh, single from uh, basically what they call Brad Pack movie. Uh, it's a really good song. I haven't really watched the movie, but uh, I mean, I might someday when I have time, that is. Although it's ironic that uh, I say I don't have time when I'm doing a video myself. Uh, Everything She Wants by Wham. I first heard this uh, July of 2015. And we were going, we were on vacation in Clearwater, and well, I was tuning with the radio and I heard this song, and I was like, this is really good. Basically, every time I hear this song, I visualize going down going down golf boulevard while that song was playing. Uh, Freedom by Wham, another really good song by them. I think this music video was shot in China. Quite interesting. Uh, Fine Young Cannibal, She Drives Me Crazy, another really good song by them. Phil Collins, You Can't Hurry Love. I basically grew up listening to Phil Collins. Susu Studio was a favorite song of mine. Uh, Fears for Fears, Shout. Another good song by them. I think that was their another number one single by them. Uh, the Police, Every Breath You Take. This was the first 45 I got for myself. It's a really, really good song. Uh, I've heard the B-side also, Murder by Numbers, is a good one as well. The Police, Wrapped Around Your Finger. Another good song. I actually have my aunt... One of my aunt's copy she, that she gave to me of Synchronicity. Along with her, uh, the family copy of Thriller. Very fun. Michael Jackson beat it. It's actually pressed on clear red vinyl. So, I listened to it a lot, except that my record player still needs servicing. No help. Uh, we got the beat by the Go-Go's. Another... I remember hearing this as far back as I can remember. It was basically a, a song I played all the time at first grade football games. Huey Loose in the news. 
uh, stuck with me, and that were the H1 song I heard. Good song. Won't Get Fooled Again by The Who. Uh, I basically grew up listening to The Who because my dad ba basically thinks they're bigger than Jesus. Sorry, John Lennon. I'm really sorry. But, yeah, it's a really, really, really good song. Van Halen Jump, another good song by them, other than Running With The Devil and Hot For Teacher and stuff like that. Karma Chameleon, don't listen to the song because it's going to be stuck in your head for the next two weeks after you hear it, which happened to me. I still haven't gotten over the pain. Actually, I have, but still kind of hurts. Uh, Belinda, I don't know how the fuck to pronounce her last name. Uh, heaven is a place on earth, basically. A uh, main person of the go decided, fuck you, I'm having my own career, and this was the result. Uh, <clears throat> Jermaine Stewart, We Don't Have to Take Our Clothes Off. Another good song. So, yeah. This was in the 50 cent pile, so I was like, I'm sure it's all grabbing this. Uh, Thompson Twins, Hold Me Now. Another good song by them. Uh, they all look very depressed. Well, that's probably why they're holding that title. Uh, here comes all of the non pitcher sleeves. Owner of a Lonely Heart by Yes. I heard this song all the freaking time in summer 2013. It's a really good song by them. Uh, John Lennon Woman. Uh, one of the... From his final album, when before he was tragically assassinated by some fucking wacko. May you rest in peace. Oh. Uh, Get Back by The Beatles. Another good, so really good song by them. Uh, it's off their final album, Let It Be. Hey Jude by The Beatles. Another. Basically, they're, I think everyone would say this is high up in their greatest songs. It's. I was lucky to get this for only 25 cents, so yeah. Hello, Goodbye by the Beatles. Uh, the backside is I Am the Walrus, which John Len Lennon never got over because Paul McCartney made sure it was the A-side. This was the A-side. Uh, Let It Be by the Beatles, another really good song by them. Very relatable. Uh, we Got Love by Peaches and Herb. Thanks to my other aunt for introducing me to this. Uh, catchy as hell song. Although the B side of this, for is a traffic jam, is about these married people having an affair. Quite scandalous. Orleans Forever, don't know when I got this, but it's a good, it's a good enough song. Uh, what You Need by In Excess. In Excess is a really good band. I first heard it in freshman year. New Sensations a good, was the first song I heard. First Time Ever I Saw Your Face by Roberta Flack. What a talented musician. I have deep respect for her. Uh, Dance With Me by Orleans. This was the first song I heard by them, and I think it's a really good song. Eric Carmen, Hungry Eyes. Another good song by them. Dirty Dancing is a really good film. It's like a guilty pleasure, but everyone has guilty pleasures. I'm not the first to admit that. Uh, Steve Miller Band, Abracadabra. This was the first 45 I actually got. It was from my aunt. This was her copy back in the day. So, yeah. Oh, The Rose by Bette Midler. Another good song by... Divine Miss M. Love is Plentiful by the Staple Singers. It, this was a good song. If there's any really good driving music, it's this song. How Long by Ace. Uh, Eddie Grant, Electric Avenue. I first heard the... I, don't, I think 8th grade? No, really good song by Eddie Grant. I mean, this is his only hit, but still, really, really good song. Now, this is one of my favorite songs, Jackson, The Jackson's Torture. Uh, 
that that music video fucks you up. I mean, it's basically got Illuminati symbols like flying and shit, and then this weird eye that always follows him. Yeah, yeah, maybe it's kind of symbolism for the Hollywood industry. But your guess is good as mine. Alone, I mean, heart. There's a girl. Another good song by them. Uh, catchy, very very catchy as hell. Uh, Sydney Whopper. Girls just want to have fun. Self-explanatory. Uh, if I Can't Have You. Another really good song off the Saturday Night Fever soundtrack. Nancy Sinatra. These boots are made for walking. Basically one of the most... Basically tough-ass songs you can sing. Uh, Olivia Newton-John. Physical. That video definitely had lots and lots of controversy back in its day. Which is why... I, and the song as well. I mean, look at the title. Ooh, Starship, We Built This City, Backside Sarah, both of them hit number one, another really good song by them, yes, I know, it's a guilty pleasure, uh, Billy Joel, Uptown Girl, I mean, well, the backside is Carol's Talk, Uptown Girl's a great song, uh, Whitney Houston, I Wanna Dance With Somebody, another really good song by her, this was actually the first song I heard that was by Whitney Houston. Oh, Whitney Houston, how will I know? This is another copy, just in case my other copy goes shit. Oh yeah, New Sensation by In Excess. Not a really good song by them. This was the first song I heard, and it was in my drama play, The, uh, the Wedding Singer. It's a really good song. Uh, For the Longest Time by Billy Joel. Not a really good song by him. Uh, yeah, that Innocent Man album's really good. Reunited by Peaches and Herb was one of the biggest hits of 1979. Uh, hopeless de Hopelessly Devoted to You by Olivia Newton-John off the Grease soundtrack. That's a really that's a really good... Uh, this is another copy of it. This was the first copy, but it was a shitty copy, so I got another copy. The Way You Make Me Feel by Michael Jackson. No, Self-explanatory. Billie Jean, one of the greatest songs ever to be made by Michael Jackson. This was one of the big, biggest hit of 1983. Rock With You by Michael Jackson. Uh, also was one of his first number one hits. Well, I mean, as an adult. Uh, I Can't Go For That by Hall & Oates. I ain't never really good song by them. Respect by Aretha Franklin. That's self-explanatory. I have great respect for Aretha Franklin. You don't, you don't have to sing a song about it, but, well, actually she does, because that made her popular. Don't Answer the Door by B.B. King. Another good song. I'm Not In Love, one of the greatest songs ever made as well. It's on Guardians of the Galaxy. Pretty Poison, Catch Me I'm Falling. One of the catchiest 80s songs I've ever heard. Boogie Oogie Oogie by A Taste of Honey. I first heard this as a kid. Catchy as well. Eagles, Lion Eyes. Man Without Hats, The Safety Dance. I first heard this in 8th grade. It's so catchy. Pink Floyd, Another Brick in the Wall. This, that's basically how I felt the last couple weeks of junior year. So, let's go to the loose stack. Okay, that, that came out completely wrong. Um, With Your Love by Jefferson Starship. Ain't never a really good song by them. I mean, that's actually one of my favorite ones. And so, yeah. Jane by Jefferson Starship. She, uh, Keeping the Faith by Billy Joel. Love Come Down by Evelyn Champagne King. That's one of a really good song. Everybody Wants to Rule the World by Tears for Fears. Okay, I think this is facing a different way. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh, what the hell? Some of these singles. Are... Um, Get Down the Night by Casey and the Sunshine Band. Basically, every wedding song. Everyday People by Sly and Family Stone. Kung Fu Fighting by Carl Douglas. 
I wish I had better ways of storing this. Creek Alley by Mamas and the Papas. Mamas and the Papas is one of my all-time favorites. Uh, Locomotion by Grand Funk Railroad. Heart and Soul by Huey Lewis in the news. I heard that song. Love Theme from Romeo and Juliet. Basically a bunch of melodramatic fucking teens and their stupid ass parents who won't let them be together. Eye of the Tiger by Survivor. That actually rhymes. Rosanna by Toto. Betty Davis Eyes by Kim Carnes. Knock on Wood by Amy Stewart. House of the Rising Sun by The Animals. You Sexy Thing by Chocolate. Hot Chocolate. Double Vision by Foreigner. Night Moves by Bob Seger. Billy Joel, My Life. That's the way I like it by Casey and the Sunshine Band. Still the one by Orland. Bad Girls by Donna Summer. Staying Alive by the Bee Gees. Just in the Wind by Kansas. Now You're Gone by Bobby Darren. Uh, Grease by Frankie Valley from the Grease soundtrack. Fame by David Bowie. Baby Come Back by Player. Escape the Pina Colada song. I'm Still Standing by Elton John. Uh, Who Can It Be Now by Men at Work. Loving Touching Squeezing by Journey. Fun 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 by the Beach Boys. A weird single. Uh, You're the One, Part One. Magic Man by Heart. I know a really good song by them. Don't Go Breaking My Heart by Elton John. It's Too Late slash I Feel the Earth Move by Carol King. The Logical Song by Supertramp. He's the Greatest Dancer by Sw Sister Sledge. Wedding Bell Blues by The Fifth Dimension. Shame by Evelyn Champagne King, one of my favorite songs. Uh, Rapture, which is the first rap song to hit number one in 1981. Uh, Brick House by Commodores. Love to Love You Baby by Donna Summer. Basically one of the most erotic songs ever made. And, uh, Got to Be Real by Cheryl, King, Cheryl Lynn. Great ass song. Never My Love by The Association. Another good song. So that's the 45s. I might get to the albums someday, considering my video at video making habits it might be a little bit i don't know what the next video will be but this is luke signing off ciao ciao real smooth